Good evening. This is Lorna. And welcome. This is Emma, too. And we are with Crafty Life Boutique. And Crafty what we're going to do is show you how to use the Express Mode, the free version of Embrilliant software, so that you can use their typing tool feature. And it's in Brilliant. So you're going to go to Express Mode, and you're going to click that. And it's free. And you are going to find the version that your computer requires. Is it Mac or is it Windows? Mac we, or Windows. And we use the Windows version. So we've already downloaded it for the sake of time. But you're going to download it, and then you're going to install it. And then this is what it will look like once you um, download it. And I have this weird window that I'm going to move. And this is what it's going to look like when you open it up on your computer. Blank. So you're going to come up to the Create Letters, which is this A, and you're going to click it, and then that's going to bring up your lettering tool. Letters. So you're going to come over here to the Properties box, and you're going to type whatever it is you need. So we are going to write Happy Birthday. But I want to text love. So we are going to do happy birthday. And then after you're done typing, you'll see over here on the right, it is where we type it. And then you can drop this box down. And if you've installed additional fonts, you'll find them here. It will come preloaded with the block. And I'll show you in a moment how to load fonts into here if you don't have any fonts. that you've purchased. So we have our happy birthday. And if we're happy with that, then we can save it and send it to our um, machine or save the machine file. Or if we want to adjust these text, you just grab the green um, little square and you can play with you can play with the fonts how you want them. Let's make it let's make it say. Happy, what? I want it to say love. We can do that one a little bit, okay? Let's just. So you get the gist. So then we want to save them. You come up to File, Save, Save, Stitch, and Working File, and you can choose your machine format, and then you, you save the files wherever you want. If you want to save them onto your USB, you can do that. Um, if you want to save them in your documents, it, it you just choose the um, where you want to save them. Yeah, so now, what happens if we've purchased a bunch of fonts from Etsy and we want to load them in? Well, that is super simple. We are going super super simple. So you are we're going to come. I've put all mine into a font folder, and I'm going to try to open if it will. Mom, let's hope this works again. Okay, so here we have all of our fonts. And you can tell we've done this once or twice because our computer was glitching. So yeah. we're going to install um, Aubrey at 0.75 inches. Yeah, we'll and that's it. Out. And then we're going to come and install the 1 inch and the 1.5. And you get the idea. So now, when I come back to my lettering tool, I click on the A, I come over to my properties box, go into the font, and there are all of those fonts that I just um, installed. So now we have love. So happy birthday, love. So it's super simple and it's free i will um very free so i will put this oh the uh, one thing i want to talk about is see how it's um like script font if yeah, you don't script. like if you don't like how the that little line isn't like flowing right you just move the letters over so then they flow and there you go. I see a lot of people in the group 
that don't actually move their script files together. So it's personal preference. I personally like it so it flows. So again, we're done with this file. You go back and do the same thing, save stitch and working file. Yep. And save it as your the file that you need and send it to your machine and you're stitching away. So have a great night and thanks for being a part of uh, Crafty Life Boutique. And we look forward to making some more videos for you. Bye!